Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out that the House passed a defense bill automatically registering men 18 to 26 for the draft. Now, this is a huge thing because the draft really hasn't been implemented since I believe the 70s. From Even though all men have to register when you turn 18, it's still, you know, it's all voluntary, right? Like, I didn't get drafted. You guys didn't get drafted. The last time people got drafted was to go to Vietnam. Now, Dr. Umar Johnson uh, reposted this, as y'all can see in the image, and says, all American African men under 30, get your passports today. When the next world war begins, I need you to disappear into Mother Africa until the war is over. No hope. You know, so on and so forth. But basically saying that nobody, we need to boycott it. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. This is needed. This is needed, especially for our community, as y'all can see in the, the images. What are young brothers doing a lot of times? Nothing. You know what they do? They play Call of Duty, and then they practice in our own community. You don't You don't see a lot of these young brothers get 9 to 5s. No. They turn 16. They turn 17. They turn 18. The clock starts over. And not only does the clock start over for them in age, but now they're getting weapons. And they, they're, they're robbing your grandmothers and... You know, you you afraid for your you afraid to leave your house at night. You gotta have barbed wire or bot barbed wire. Your windows gotta be barred. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You gotta have security cameras everywhere. You're afraid for your little sister or your niece to go take the clothes to the laundromat by herself. You gotta she always gotta have somebody with her. Why? Because we got people like this terrorizing the neighborhood. So let's give these people something to do. If you wanna be a goon and you wanna brag about you know uh, the scoreboard and all that. Well, well, let's just let's just do it. Let's do it against terrorism. Let's do it against you know the enemies of this country. And I just honestly, I mean, think about it, right? World War II, over a million black men served between 1941 and 1945. Now you can argue, you can argue that you know the GI Bill set us back. And, you know, it wasn't fair and it was segregated. We had segregated units. Uh, President Truman ended up being the one to force desegregation in the military. I get it. I get it. But how do you think our neighborhoods were? Even with all of that, you still had young men, black men, signing up to, f to fight for this country. You know, talk to a lot of your grandparents and great grandparents who are black. Majority of them served in the military in the 40s, even in the 50s, even in the 60s. When a lot of us graduated, well, let me take that back. Most people didn't graduate. You either started working to help your family out or you went to the service. And most of them turned out just fine. But guess what? You got all this time now. You know, these people. Oh, one more thing before I go off. Back in the day, also, the military used to have it to where instead of you going to jail, you would go to the military. So give it. let them do that. You know, all you hear, all you hear in the music is, you know, I caught a body this. I caught a body. I kicked this person door in. You know, this, that, and the third. Well, now you got a chance to do it and do it legally. You know, you, you claim you got all these bodies and you, you, your crew got all these bodies. Remember Adrian Broner talking about his people got uh, things that they can't talk about and keys and all that. Okay, well, now you got your chance to do it legally. And honestly, I think that that will overall help our community. Because I mean, what, else, what else are these brothers doing? So, Dr. Umar, what else, do, what other solutions should you have? Because we all know... We ain't gonna never get this magical, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't even think of the word, but yeah, but the government, they're not gonna pay you, you know, just for the way we were quote unquote mistreated. You gotta, we gotta get it on our own, man. So no, no, let them draft some of these people that I actually help save some of them. If some of them got all this aggression and you know, you, 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 wanna, you wanna terrorize your community, okay, well, let's go ahead and do this legal way. Go ahead, go to sniper school and you know, learn how to how to drive tanks and fly aircraft. We'll give y'all something to do. And then when you come out, you can be productive citizens to this country and to your neighborhood. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it again. I see no problem with this, but I wanted to let y'all, but tell me what y'all think in the comments.